It's an emotional detective story spread over two continents in half a century, proving the power of music can heal and redeem. The Song of Names is in theaters across Canada and will stream on Crave later this year. eTalk had a chance to catch up with a star-studded cast, director, and composer about this bold journey through friendship, betrayal, and reconciliation. You will teach him? He is genius. I can teach him. You are staying in London? I go back to Warsaw to my wife and daughters. I leave him here. So many stories out there. Why did you choose to, to, to work with this one? If you don't make a fast decision on, on such material, like there's a lot of things at stake here, like the themes are pretty deep and we're dealing with the past. It's a lot of work, involves a lot of research. It's not an easy film to make. So I took my time and then eventually committed to the script, went back to the book, engaged with the two writers. We worked uh, on the script for a long while and then eventually got my great team coming around. Ending with probably one of the most fabulous collaboration I had in career with uh, Howard Shore. Who we just had this perfect journey that led to the music you, you heard. is such a character unto itself in this film. Are you on set? I don't know, like, how, what does that look like for you? Like, for us, you know what I mean? We, we yeah. know who you are, we know what you do, but what does the process look like? Well, there was two parts to it. There was a pre-production part that was involved all the research, a lot of working with Francois to decide what pieces would actually be from the classical repertoire would be in the film, what pieces I would have to compose, which essentially the song of names and the scene in the synagogue with the rabbi and the cantorial singing. So I set to work on, on that, and once we had decided on that, then he uh, shoots, and I consult with him a, a lot while he's shooting. And then there's the score, which is a composition I write after he's finished the editing, and that was recorded with a chamber orchestra. I'm looking for David Rappaport. R A R T O 1950 the Galliano 1735. You're looking for the instrument or you're looking for the owner? Both. It is a beautiful film and your performance is spectacular. Oh, good. I felt your anguish, I felt your pain. What was it like, the process of transforming into Martin? It was a complicated one, I think, because we were dealing with a period, three different kind of versions of him as we were with uh, Clive's character. So we all had to, I suppose, in some way come to come to an agreement as to what this man was. So it was a challenge, and it was a fun challenge, though, for me. I, I enjoyed it. I have to ask you about the Song of Names. Yeah. What was it like bringing Francois's vision to life in that film? He, I, I adore Francois, yeah. And we're already talking and looking at working together again because I had such a great time with him. Talking about difficult director challenges, there's two characters in the film that Tim Roth and I play the older versions of, yes. but there are two younger versions that's of right. us. And that's really hard to pull that off, to cast the right people and make the transitions good and everything, but he, he's done it beautifully. So what was it like being directed by Francois? He was really great. He, he gave some great insights. He said, be in the moment, which I thought was a great insight. Just act as if you're feeling in the moment. Don't think about acting, just think about being the character. And I, th I think that really changed the way I acted. He's all about being present and being in the moment and not worrying about all the stuff that goes around you know, filmmaking. He's, he's very much there with you. Um, he lo works very intimately. He's, he's on there on set. He often watches, not even on the monitors sometimes. He really wants to be there. His history and his background is in theatre and in opera and he, I don't know, I just think he, he brings a lot of those different elements of his work. He's, he's a proper artist. Um, so we were quite lucky yeah. to work with him. Yeah. It was his obsession to play the song. Why did you do it? I'm not sure you'd understand. Extraordinary. And the Crave original film, The Song of Names, is in theaters across Canada and will stream on Crave later this year. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.